So hello everybody and welcome to the Thaco Gamers and to 2018 and to Dungeons and Dragons Online. My name is Matt and I have everyone here today for the first time in forever. What a way to start the year. What? Now, part of the reason is because Matt, Chad, and I tried to do one of these on our own and I screwed it up and uh, did not have a mic going the whole time. So we had a whole wasted review video. So we decided to get uh, Jason Squared along with us here. So... There's myself, Matt, Chad, Jason, Jason and squared. Jason. <laughs> Yo. So, <laughs> Yo. So we have been playing Dungeons and Dragons online, and uh, well, this is the first one that we're going to do. Since it's 2018, we figured we'd pick a game that was 18 years old to do. <laughs> so, It's barely legal. <laughs> it doesn't look a day over 17. <laughs> it doesn't. So... Uh, well, I guess we'll just start where we normally start here. What do you guys think of the character creation in the game? If you can remember back that far, it's been a little time since we've done it. But... It has been a little time. All I know is that I have a redheaded halfling, <laughs> which is kind of like a stepchild. Um... <laughs> well, I... <laughs> the uh, it's just I know you guys like this game, and I I do get where you guys come from, like as far as dungeoning and storytelling and everything but the datedness of this game just it kills like almost every aspect for me datedness combat specifically you're referring to right combat specifically yeah is, is extremely dated but even the graphics you know what that bad you know what that some <laughs> games <laughs> some other um, games made by turban yeah yeah made by turban and it's less it's less menu based than other games that we've played <laughs> <laughs> um but i just i can't get myself into this one that that was the perfect answer to what do you think of character creation i was gonna say well, well to get back on track uh character well, in, creation graphically with character creation <laughs> Graphically, character creation is relatively minimal. I mean, you pick from a few faces, you pick from some hairstyles and a few colors, but there's not a whole lot there. Um, where the character creation kind of improves and kind of shines with, you know, not a ton of shine, but there's some polish there, is the whole D&D &D aspect of it. Uh, choosing your classes, setting your stats, giving yourself abilities. There you could really you know, kind of make your character unique as far as skills go. Yeah. You really can't make it too unique as far as the looks and look and feel, although they have added races and stuff like that. But a lot of those are pay um, hmm. to yeah. get. But yeah, I mean, the, the character creation itself really shines when it comes to abilities and less so graphically for sure. Yeah. I played this game when it first came out a long time ago. Um, I, I, remember how like what drew me back after you guys started getting into it was the uh just like how the game plays i was like yeah i remember that being interesting the uh the narration when you do the dungeons and puzzles so we tried aeon recently and the game aeon looks so much better than this but that gameplay was so much so awful Mm -hmm. in this i was like yeah i can sacrifice a little bit of graphics because i know the gameplay is going to be good in this for as old as it is see i like the uh the, the combat is pretty bad uh, matt gripes and gripes <laughs> about the combat and and it is mm -hmm. it, it is because i think we had talked about this before this is from my knowledge like the earliest game to ever actually try to implement like action combat in an mmo because this came out like 2006, was it? 2005, something like that. And uh, I personally can't think of any game uh, older than that that has the action combat like this does. And because of that, it's definitely very clunky. And, you know, you don't really feel like you have a big impact when you're smacking someone with your mace. But mm -hmm. um, Well, it, it was definitely ahead of its time in that aspect. Mm -hmm. You could tell that they took some chances. Like, I was surprised the other day as I went to jump and I missed a ledge, and my character actually grabbed the ledge right. and pulled <laughs> herself up. I was like, whoa, they, they parkoured it. You know? It's like, that didn't happen back Just then. Just like Assassin's Creed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so they definitely took some chances there, and, of course, it, it did not age well. 
as far as like you really can't strafe without at least in this typical way we're used to in in the newer mmos but and when they're swinging and it's it's not that great i play a ranged character which i enjoyed more with the bow and the crossbow Mm -hmm. but yeah i mean the combat's not that great truthfully i think for the age of the game the graphics are really good um obviously by today's standards not so much but like matt was saying we've played like lotro and stuff like that that are newer than this that look worse i think um so i think it's done pretty (laughs) well with the graphics as far as the age of it um the combat is definitely not the best in the world but where the game shines is like what chad was saying in the uh, character creation and character development um and in the dungeons of which are i think are really awesome because you get in there and you have a guy kind of narrating your way through and there's it's a little bit more puzzle based and uh it's less of the world of warcraft plow through as fast as you can and just you know you know pillage and kill everything on your way through without a thought and this you have to you can't really do that you got to have to take your time a little bit more and you know be aware of your surroundings and stuff and with the puzzles and and the narration and stuff like that i think it's pretty cool but the whole game is basically instanced except for the uh the cities the hubs everything else is basically it's just you take Mm -hmm. a party in and almost every quest is its own little dungeon which is kind of cool and when you do that you could actually choose what kind of difficulty and challenge you want to do so a lot of quests you could actually just you could get through a lot of this game solo honestly by just doing the easier instances but if you want to group up and challenge yourself they go up to reaper i believe which they say is just unbelievably hard what's the hardest we did was hard or expert it was expert expert and we got whipped when there's only three of us (laughs) but so um i just want to touch on something chad mentioned uh character creation and customizing your class um if you know what you're doing as a D and D person, which I'm not, mm. um, I know a little bit of it, but you know, you can pick pre-made kind of classes with their setups, or you can actually go in and customize and pick all your specific skills or mix and match, which is really cool. And this is D and D third edition. Um, for anyone who is familiar with D and D, um, there are certain things like for me, I'm a sorcerer and sorcerers in D and D, you have so many spells per day you can cast and they don't do that. They have mana. Um, and I basically can spam my spells f- a lot. <laughs> it's just, it's just like mana and wow or anything else. You have a lot of magic. Um, but other than that, it's right in line with D and I'm scrolling down right now through the skills and this is right out of the third edition handbook. I mean, if I want to put points as a sorcerer into hide or intimidate or listen or move silently or open lock or whatever you want to, you can. Mm-hmm. Um, and then which, Go ahead. Which actually comes to the point that this is D&D. You can gimp yourself. You oh, yeah. can make a character <laughs> that's bad, and there's no mm-hmm. getting away from it. So, If you want to be the best swimmer, <laughs> you, <laughs> right. can be, you can be the best swimmer. Right. They, they right. allow you to cripple yourself. That is very true. <laughs> and there's all of these. I'm going through the feats now, and then these are just the spells that I have. Typical D&D spells, magic missile, burning hands, um, shocking grasp. So... Um, and it is neat. Uh, other than Neverwinter Nights, uh, this game has been uh, the most faithful to the D&D rules other than the Neverwinter Nights games of all of them that I've ever played, um, which is pretty cool, too, if you're into D&D and like that ability to be able to make bad characters. Bad characters. <laughs> I do like that, though. I, I, I think it's cool, too, and it, it puts people apart. You know, it sets mm-hmm. people apart, like if you're going to put the time and effort into, you know, studying your character and and learning, you know, what abilities work well with how you play, then you're going to do what, you know, better than the person that just jumps in here and wants to dink around and, you know, just jump on here every now and then and not really take the time it'll show, but. Mm -hmm. This is truly a game like kind of the original, I guess, where you need the, uh, the Trinity, the healer, the fighter. Mm-hmm. I would say so. 
that type of thing. So that it does make you feel unique in that way where you can customize for your personal taste and, you know, hopefully still be viable. I haven't done any really hard dungeons or anything. So I don't know if there's actually raids or anything bigger that we need to plan for, but <laughs> what? well, if you want to experience the whole dungeon, I mean, you need more than the Trinity here. You need the full D and D ish party. You're going to need a rogue that picks locks. And, yeah, that's true. You know, they they hire and, yeah. Which is cool. They they actually hide certain things, mm-hmm. not necessarily to beat the dungeon, but to be able to get all the extra goodies yeah. and and uh, treasures and stuff like that out of there. They do hide them behind a lock that needs to be picked. Yep, there's um, traps that you could disarm. I mean, this is definitely kind of an old school dungeon feel. It's mm-hmm. neat, and and that is what I like about it. It's all of that kind of stuff. Um, like we've talked before, Chad, when we were playing in old school WoW, if you had a rogue with you and could pick the lock in the door of whatever dungeon that was you could skip a quarter of the dungeon you know Mm -hmm. and that was just to have a rogue just for that was super beneficial for time (laughs) if you were limited Mm -hmm. on time so i i like where they give um you know everyone shouldn't be able to do everything all the time because that takes the anything interesting away from individual characters in these games um Uh, do you know if um if when you do the harder uh levels of the dungeon or the harder settings do, does the dungeon change at all or is I, it just like more mobs i think it's more mobs and tougher mobs from what i've noticed i mean we haven't gone above whatever it was we said elite on that um but from our experience from normal to hard to elite it seemed to be just more mobs and um tougher to kill but no um like the mapping or anything in the dungeon didn't change or anything like that. Right, you may get you probably get better rewards. So I mean, there's yeah. not a ton of replayability necessarily, but you can challenge yourself if it was too right. easy, which is cool. Yep, and you get fatter loot, which is the whole point. Right. Yes. Right. Loots. And you do get XP going back through, so yep. that's good. You can redo the quests, which is cool. Um, and a- another thing that I've uh. I haven't experienced myself, but I have seen uh, with other people that have played um, this game when looking like online and stuff like that, is that this game is to, how did we word this before? DDO is to hot bars what Eve is to menus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this game had, I believe, I have seen videos on YouTube with people that have, it looks like, 750 different hot bar slots open on their screen at one time and just it looked like one giant cool down with one little tiny game in the middle that they could kind of see through all of their hot bars so that doesn't look too appealing to me to have to do that kind of management with that many different abilities and weapon sets and everything else but i was gonna say i don't think i mean yeah of course it's because of the abilities but you can kind of remember and and key bind all that stuff but when it comes to usable equipment mm-hmm. and items and stuff like that dude this game is absolutely ridiculous it is With they... the amount of specification it takes <laughs> oh yeah that's something. right <laughs> it's crazy dude like i don't even understand this i don't even understand how a programmer sat down and said okay this is going to be a good idea let's put this in the game and it's just i i have no idea I'm like, tr- what I'm looking at when I look at a piece of equipment, like, I look at my dagger, one dagger, and it says plus one shocking, one dagger of critical piercing, two dagger light. <laughs> what? My, mine is, my, <laughs> what I what I currently have equipped is a plus one impulsive 34 scepter of kinetic lore five club. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, what is it, a scepter? Is it a club? Is it? A, I don't get it. And I think that's one of the things, too, is... That's fine if you're like max level, right? Uh, but right. when we're, we're you're two, three levels in, and right, you're getting this gear that makes much. no sense, there's I like don't ever, <laughs> I don't ever want to jump into somebody's chat room and hear somebody say, "I need to go to you know, I need to go to this dungeon to get this hypnotic spell mace of plus thirty six to undead minus three to you know sahagans and flipping and jumping acrobatics, you know." I don't want to hear anybody say that. It's minus, just... minus three to Sahagans? What the hell is that? <laughs> now, I wonder, is this uh, you know, like a lot of loot-based games where they have random stats, like everything's kind of randomly combined? It feels like it is. Fixed. I wonder if it's actually fixed yeah. like uh, later on. 
Yeah, like if you do this certain dungeon, you'll get this sword that mm-hmm. does a specific thing. I, I think it's random to a certain point. I don't know that there's any like magic wands that give you strength. Um, you know what I mean? Like I don't know if they would do that specifically, but maybe they would. Um, but it, it definitely feels quite random though. Uh, for some of these, like I said, I'm a level three, which this game levels up very weird. For every five levels you play the game, you get you'll level up five times before you get to level two. <laughs> basically, is how this goes. So we've went through i think i'm a level a rank 13 right now level three so i've leveled up a few times but um there's like minor level ups and then a big one but anyways you know yeah i don't even remember where i was going with this anymore i'm so confused by the the stats (laughs) (laughs) Um, you know everything to say about it (laughs) <laughs> the, it, this is kind of the one thing too with the game is you definitely can get your character even more so past the creation and the initial builds they have other things outside of the typical D D building of a character they have enhancements which you could even build your character up more mm-hmm. uniquely i suppose they have like what they call like these epic destinies and reincarnations where you could take a character all the way up to max basically reincarnate them they now have even more like starting abilities that Mm -hmm. enhance them as they move forward and it's just like you can put a lot of time into this and you can make this as deep and as an experience as you really do want it which is really um, hats off to the developer in that sense. Mm-hmm. Now I'm trying to find, and I can't remember now where on earth you you just apply points when you level up. Do you actually have to go to your sorcerer or your whatever trainer to see that stuff? Is yeah, that where you, you saw go that to that the at? trainer. Okay, yeah. so I see the wizard yeah. guy. I'm going to wander off just to kind of show that a little bit. And then you could click the enhancements too, you know, and that's the other way you can kind of get your secondary levels going as far as that goes. So if I want to, let's see, um, advance to the next level. Okay, so if I want to see, these are basically your skill trees that you have here. And I have uh, Eldritch Knight, Air Savant, Earth Savant, and Fire Savant. And then Human. You can level up in being a human as well. <laughs> um, and, and there's different, you know, skill points that you can put into all of these. Um, and mm-hmm. as you play more so, or possibly with money unlocks, I believe is actually where you get some of these other ones where you can get different it's kind of like rift almost where you have these different Mm -hmm. skill trees and this is your mmo version of leveling up um alongside of the D &D leveling up that you do where you actually just put points into your charisma and strength and get your feats and your skills and stuff like that so there's there's a lot of ways to customize your character for sure and true to D, &D, you can multi-class you know so you can be a fighter part fighter part rogue part cleric part whatever part so bard part <laughs> right. you could really make yourself messed up yeah are, are you doing uh, like screenshots or video of any of this part like o- open up the enhancements if you can like where you spend action points i think i was i just I, class. I i just had that open with my uh yeah oh yeah okay yeah, I, ju- so I just I just had this open. I have seven points to spend, and I look at this, and my head about explodes. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so many options here, but you know what drew me to this game, other than you know, kind of the, the nostalgia of it, is we said, hey, we're gonna try this game out. Everybody install it, or you know, re-log in and do all that. It was super easy for us to create our characters, beautiful as they are, but just hop right <laughs> in and go do a bunch of little dungeons that are right in the yeah, same area, like right and off the bat get, and going through doing dungeons. Right in, 10, 15 minutes maybe, if that, on some of them, blast right through them. It's a good game to just jump right into it for as complex as it is. Well, let's right. go go find a dungeon, someone, around here, and we'll just kind of just go through a little dungeon in the town here just to get some game some gameplay in, too, if you guys want to. We can... I got and one, I think, uh... Jay, just a Jay, you made a really good point there <laughs> because I know, like one thing in eve we just we hammered the complexity of that game because they dropped you in the middle of it and you literally couldn't do hardly they said, anything see you suckers yeah, and then they and left they said bye where <laughs> this one has a well not as complex but it has a complexity to it and 
you can still jump in not knowing anything and play it without problem. It was. We were in when, an instanced yeah. dungeon five minutes outside of character creation. Exactly. We were in an instanced dungeon together and having fun. <laughs> yes. yes. And then one of the other guys came in later and we're like, oh, let's go back and do that. So we cranked right. up the difficulty and there's more of us. And yep. we right. Blasted through it. Um, I've got one I just picked up for uh, Bone Bite Hideout or something. All right, let's go do that real quick. Where are you at? I, I don't know. I don't know how to see anybody on the map. <laughs> I don't know. So, <laughs> you can see where I'm at. Uh, That's where... Well, I think alley. Oh, there you are. Group there, Matt. What's that? Yeah, invite us back in the group. Oh, you guys. Oh, you were dueling or something? Oh, we were trying to, and it's got it's got some cool little party duel thing where you can. It looks like you can create a party and then challenge another party to duel. Oh, so you guys (laughs) were trying to do that to us? So we were. No, we were just trying to do that to each other to see if we could do a one on one, but. Well, you and I dueled earlier, and when you duel in this game, you actually kill them. Yeah, you, yeah, you kill them, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, I see. Okay, I see you guys. We it's ran into here. a bar or something like that, and there's like some dueling thing down at the bottom of the bar. It was in this building right here. Was it? Oh, yeah. We're missing Chad, right? Just doing an all-out brawl. Yeah. So now, okay. is this where now you got it from? Here. Oh, okay. Back, I, it might be from that guard there, I assume, since he's right by. Oh, so we got to go back to him to get the quest? So the the little uh, Holy Grail icons are the quest? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's Chad with pets. So I do like... I I do like a lot of the aspects of this game. Um, It's just unfortunate that they haven't updated the combat. Are we Mm -hmm. doing normal? I just picked normal. Okay. Yeah, it's unfortunate that that they haven't updated the combat because I think if they had updated the combat, I would be way more inclined to keep playing this game. Mm-hmm. It's just the fact that it's not, and it, it is really bad. Let's see if we can see some of I that. I do. In here. I do agree with you, Matt. I will say that ranged, I feel, is a much more entertaining way to play it is than <laughs> trying to get up there in melee when the swings are just kind of awkward well, that, <laughs> there's a trap that, and see here's a trap have, somebody just yeah. ran through so that and we have a tank that just runs through <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shush. there it is what good is being a paladin if you can't tank uh, traps <laughs> so like when you're in dungeons like as you saw you have to search well, you can. <laughs> you, can start, you can disarm traps, lock doors. Just there's, run through. There's definitely a complexity to these dungeons that you really don't see as much anymore. Mm-hmm. It's gonna send some fire in there, but oh, uh, hi, buddy. I got him. So we went through on normal, so it's it's yeah, we're a little typically yeah, typically point. a little bit yeah. harder than this, but you can kind of get an idea what the dungeons are like. See if I can do one of those sweet parkour grabs. Oh yeah, see this. Whoop. Whoop. That's kind of cool to be able to uh, crack open crates and vases and vase stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so fancy. <laughs> <laughs> While you're watching this video, make sure that you pour yourself a glass of wine and have some cheese for snacks. <laughs> Chardonnay. <laughs> Don't throw your mother's lot. vase on the ground. <laughs> Oh, it's locked. Now, one thing that we didn't really talk about, we talked about the items, but not the ungodly, horrible and inventory, too. The inventory on this game is very difficult to manage. Um, yeah, that's one thing. This game has a lot of pay-to-win oh, yeah. things. Like, you can up your stats and a lot of that kind of stuff through, through money. So, mm-hmm. Well, they are the... Uh, the granddaddies of pay to or uh, um free to play too aren't they they're one of the first ones that, the first one i ever heard of that went free to play but because of their they weren't doing so hot i think right <laughs> they got to make people pay for other things cuz this was a yeah this was a subscription <laughs> game but yep. i mean is this stuff really pay to win or is it convenience no i've heard there <laughs> are pay to win aspects of yeah. it okay. yeah there's like stat increases and but if right, it's not a huge pvp based game you could still 
Like if someone's right. watching this and is kind of interested in this, like playing through with some friends, I don't think it would matter. Mm. You, you know what I mean? I don't think it would affect anything. And honestly, you'll probably yes. be bored of the game before you get to a point to where any of that shit would mean anything anyway. Because it's not. Yeah, I agreed. Like, I like this game all right, but I would never be able to play it for longer than, you know, a few days, and then I'd move <laughs> on to something else and then come longer back to than... it maybe to do a right. dungeon. Right. Making a video. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I liked the dungeons that we, we've we done together. I, I did enjoy. Right. You know, I just, because of the combat and everything else, you just can't play it for a long time. But once you've yeah. gone through and... Did we beat this? I don't even remember fighting yeah, I anything. I think we just beat it. <laughs> <laughs> No, we got to find and defeat Gobold leaders and then find Guard Jung's lost badge. I'm trying yeah, to see. One of the guys. All right. Over Loot two all. cloak of natural Ooh. armor bonus. Piece of candy. Robust bracers of dodge. Eh, whatever. Ten what? eyelashes in gum Arabic. There's what? <laughs> Are you for real? Yes. <laughs> Bell component. You just got eyelashes. <laughs> I can <laughs> loot it, loot it and said it was reserved for somebody else. So, ten eyelashes and gum Arabic reserved for just dress on a heart. Yeah, that's Lock. for. I don't know what that is. It's. It says it's art, an art piece. Oh. Oh hey, here we go. Hey, some art. Did you pick a lock to get back here, Matt? I broke a box. So now there's a guy narrating. I have the volume kind of turned down on this, but he's yeah. kind of narrating this. See, these that are is a neat thing. It yeah. is, and these are pretty cool, decent little. Because this isn't. This is just a quest. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a lot nicer for every quest that you do is basically a little dungeon as opposed I to go kill bad. ten rats. You know what I mean? So, I, I do yeah, like that I aspect of the game. Well, there were, like, kill 300 kobolds. There was. We did do that <laughs> yeah. one. That is true. <laughs> That's Oh, yeah, and the, the waves. It was like it turned into a wave shooter at that point. Yeah, it was. That's so, it over here. Yeah, we got to find and defeat the kobolds leader. Kobolds leader. So um, we kind of established in our Warframe video that our new uh, rating system was going to be uh, – uninstall or keep installed so what did what what do you guys think you're gonna do for that what's what's your rating for this uninstall or keep it <laughs> those are the only two options those are the only two yeah. options thumbs up or thumbs down uh i so, need space <laughs> what do you say what i need space <laughs> i don't I need, need space but i don't think i'm gonna keep this installed i think there are there are too many other games that I would rather spend my time trying um, than coming back to something with such horrible combat. Because, I mean, to defend myself on that before you guys go crazy. Um, I don't feel like we've been going I crazy like on you when you say that. <laughs> you know, I like PvP, and when a game doesn't have good combat, it's hard to PvP. Yeah, I'm going crazy on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Can't hold back. <laughs> Can't stand it. It's just, I mean, I do like a lot of the aspects of this game, but I feel like if I wanted to play a game like this, I would play, you know, a Game Wars like 2. Right. Or something. I can see a that. A little more up to date. Yeah. Nope, that that totally yeah. makes sense. It is, it is hard to, like, think of playing this long term, even though it's not a bad game. Like, like again, to jump into this, it's super accessible to get started is, is fun but man there's so many layers and stuff to it it's like i don't have time to mm -hmm. dedicate brain power to something like this where but i can see a lot of people that would get into D D. this may be a great thing probably for role playing mm -hmm. and uh, some other situations hold on there's a trap did you find a trap there is a trap it's, it's right there on the wall did I trigger it? My spidey senses are going off. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably leave mine I got installed. It. I'll so, probably leave it installed, but so. I'm kind of in the sense where Jay and said too is like I don't see myself playing it a ton. I don't think I'll play it a ton. Um, I also will probably leave it installed. Um, if I could see 
on some day when you're just kind of bored and we have mm-hmm. some time just being like, hey, let's, hey, Chad, let's just go do a dungeon or so, two in DDO. Let's go play some Arc Age. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, uh, it's a couple of spare it, minutes. Let's go. It's one of those. League. It's one of those games. That, yeah, it is like this. Is like league though, in the sense that you can just hop in with having done nothing, do a dungeon or two, and then be like, okay, that was all right, and just be done with it and not play it again for uh, a while. Kind of similar to what we do with league. So, ooh, level what up. was that large the explosion? Only... <laughs> Did somebody die? I just got to level up. Somebody's oh. dog came running in here and attacked this whole group of things. Oh, I'm way behind you guys. I just heard Probably an explosion. Pet. Now, Matt, you I, I got some. Uh, you got some kind of cool kids, and they're uh, younger. Like, could you see them if having an interest in D and D? Would you direct them towards this, or would they not have any? Any? Uh, they would not have. They would not have anything to do with this. My kids would not enjoy it's this. Not, not modern and yeah. fast based and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. It, yeah. Partially yeah. because I, yeah, <laughs> that, that's a very good point. If, yeah, that, it's right. definitely more of a, it, you just, I don't believe that many gamers would be able to just sit and take no. this game seriously. Some people could, very small niche group, but, um, this yeah. plays on nostalgia. It yeah, definitely basi- plays. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Absolutely. I was going to say, if you, if you like a game that complements, the old school D and D, you know, yep. third edition, pretty well, and in a video game, then give this one a try, you and know. I, and I do, but I enjoy. See, it. I don't, I don't even agree with that because I'm a big D and D person. Nerd. I'd rather play Neverwinter. You know, I mean, if if I'm gonna go with the shitty graphics, <laughs> oh, you, you mean like Neverwinter Nights? Play Neverwinter. Yes. See, yes. I could Neverwinter the MMO, right? Or... Never winner of the MMO is a complete abortion. Oh, thank <laughs> you. I hate those horrible. So, and next week, uh, nice. next week, join in the Thanko Gamers for a review of Never Winner the MMO. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm sure I've still got some things I haven't spent in there when I actually paid uh, real money for things. Mm-hmm. That's not but, even um, worth the first impressions. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, but the, the Never first... Winner Nights, like the first RPG, that one probably has this type of nostalgia, like you said. But it's more straightforward. There's not all these separate sub menus and that was like, that I like, still have and actually have toyed around with, and that is uh, very clunky, like way well, worse than this for combat. Though this is actually yeah, better they're re-releasing for it though. Actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just just in other... they're doing like the enhanced edition, like the yeah. like they did the Baldur's Gates and stuff. So, yep. but yeah, basically, final verdict on this is we're looking at. Um, three people are going to uninstall. Two people will keep it installed and maybe play it for with like each other. T- t- with each other a couple a couple uh, hours a year. <laughs> <laughs> most of my honestly, most of my reason to keep it is because if we ever do this again, I do not want to go through a reinstall. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> reinstall go so, well, is there anything anybody wanted to add to this before we uh, end the video? Anything else? I, I think it it's free. Um, I mean, give it a shot. It's if, if you're looking for something cheap uh, to get into, just to try out some D and D or get some idea for it, it might be worth a shot. But take yeah. some of the quests and put them in your campaigns. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I, if, You've got if, free narration. If you're a gamer that just likes in depth character building, and you're less concerned about combat. I think this is definitely a game that you might like. Look, and like a, a lot of people that you see in here. I mean, it's not a huge crowded thing, but we see enough people around, and some of those are really high level. So there's there's definitely some things that uh, mm-hmm. keep people drawn to this. Well, like like I said, I think for me the main takeaway that makes this game moderately enjoyable for me in small bursts <laughs> is just the fact that every quest is a unique dungeon crawl and no yep. other mmo does that so that that's mostly what i like about it I, the character creation is cool but that's not why i'm interested in this or what makes me actually want to leave this installed and maybe play it on occasion sarah and i went through and played this quite a bit um when it first went free to play uh, i don't know five or six years ago now but um we enjoyed it 
it, just to go sit down and to go through and like I said, each quest is not go kill ten kobolds and then go right. loot ten coins yeah. and go do this. It's literally go into this dungeon, explore it, and finish it by doing whatever the thing is. And there's puzzles and stuff that get you through there. And that's the appeal to this. So if that is appealing to you, this game you would probably like and be willing to um you know forgive the the crappy combat. If your thing is PvP like Matt, I totally see why Matt does not like this because Agreed. he yeah. he is a PvP monster God. in these stupid games. <laughs> you God. can say it. You can say it. <laughs> so so I you know PvP your face. <laughs> Yeah, every game we've ever played, Matt and I have dueled, and he's murdered my face every single Except time. Except for this one, that's why I hate it. <laughs> that is, I did beat you in this, didn't I? You did beat me. Best game ever. I'm changing my review. This Dude, is even it. In, even I'm in, staying we here for our, uh, We did our Matt versus Matt for Albion Online, and uh, Matt thought he beat me for the longest time until he replayed and went through to cut the video and then realized <laughs> that I beat him an extra time. He was so mad. <laughs> Son of a bitch, you were right. <laughs> yeah, we miscounted. Damn it. Yeah. So now if you want an idea for some of the things, what do we have? Uh, oh, just a plus one dagger of feeding. That's not too crazy. Yeah, I alt-tabbed, and I seriously suggest not to do that because that won't let me back in. <laughs> plus so, one impulse yeah. 34 light mace of fire lore 5. Oh, yeah, wow. Uh, number or plus two back. chilled one hand wraps of vertigo 2. <laughs> um, realistic one bracers of fortification and two plus two insulated 11 wood wait did you just something. say bracers of fornication <laughs> did i just hear that uh, um, fornication fortification ah fortification, Forn fortification. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot so I'm right. looking at my Steam, and it says that I've played this game for a total of seven hours, and that's enough for me. <laughs> I, am, I am dipping out of this thing if I can ever close it. <laughs> Matt's going to have this uninstalled before we're done with the video. <laughs> before it's I over. am. So anyone else have any final words to add to this before we uh, close out of the video? It's going to take me three um, years to uninstall. It's better than Lotro. Yeah, there it you is. go. <laughs> yep. It's better than Lotro. It is it's better than Eve. It's face than Eve. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Well, thank you guys for being with, with me in the video today for our first uh, uh, video of 2018. And uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. If you have anything you'd like to say about Dungeons & Dragons Online or want to tell us why we're stupid uh, when it comes to this game, because people definitely like telling us what we've missed in games that we've talked about so feel free to say get it, it man <laughs> yeah feel you feel free to get it feel free to I let like us know in the <laughs> my mom's god again <laughs> yep <laughs> i like sitting in my mom's space uh -oh. reading my old dungeon manuals oh man who back who doesn't who doesn't <laughs> yeah I like sitting in your mom's basement too, Chad. So please, please leave a like or a subscribe uh, if you like this or want to subscribe. And uh, I guess that's it. And we'll see you in the next video that we do next time. And thank you, fellas, for joining me. Later. Thank you. <laughs> All right, cut. Always got to end with a mat. Ugh. Ugh.